Hey guys, this is a quick video to, uh, to quickly explain to you how to make this new type of graph. So on today's assignment, you're going to see there's a new type of graph called a velocity versus time graph. So I'm just going to quickly explain um, how we can make these new types of graphs. Um, so just so we can see, um, this video is going to be all about what we call, um, or we'll call it time, ooh, let's make that bigger. Time versus velocity graphs. So far all of our graphs have been time versus position and this one can represent the exact same motion as time versus position um, but now we're going to show how velocity changes over time. Okay, so the purpose of this is to show how velocity changes and I'm going to underline the word changes because that's really important. Show how velocity changes over time. Okay, um, now I want to draw one for you and I want you to see that there's a, there's a big difference here in how we draw velocity versus time versus position versus time, okay? So velocity versus time is going to look like this, okay? Where time is my axis here and Today, or yeah, in today's activity, time will be in seconds. And then velocity is my axis over here, and that is in meters per second. Okay, so if we think about this, um, our position versus time graphs only showed this quadrant. Okay, they just showed, so you wouldn't have seen any of this down here. That was gone. You just saw this stuff up in the top right hand corner. Well, that's because we've only been talking about positive positions so far. Positive positions were kind of up this way. Well, for velocity, we not only have to show positive, but we have to show negative velocities as well. If you think back to the first part of your lab, we had positive velocities and we also had negative velocities. Um, okay, so, so it's going to look a little bit different. It looks like this. Don't get freaked out, okay? It's still very similar to a position versus time. Uh, we just have this that bottom part to be able to show negative velocity. Um, all right, now f we're going to keep this simple for today. Let's actually, I don't know if I need to move it. Let's just draw on it. Okay. Um, so whenever I have constant velocity um, and it's not changing, we're going to see sh flat lines. So we're going to see velocity lines a lot like that for constant positive velocity or like that for constant negative velocity. So let's see if we can make a note here. Why will it not move my... All right, well, you're just going to have to deal with not seeing my face for a little bit. Okay, so um, let's make this note here. Constant velocity, which is everything we've done so far. will have a flat line. And think about it, that's because the velocity is not changing. If we go back and we look up at, at these lines, okay? So if I were to think about this top one, well, after one second goes by, here's my velocity. After two seconds goes by, it's the exact same velocity. Let's just say it was three, okay? You don't have numbers on, but if we did. Okay, after two seconds, it's still three meters per second. After four seconds, it's still four or still three meters per second. After five seconds, still three meters per second. Okay, so the velocity's not going up. Ooh, wait, hang on, that's not what I wanted. It's not going up. It's not going down right now. It's just staying exactly the same. So it's staying flat. Now we can still show which velocities are bigger. We can still show if it's positive or if it's negative. Um, but but for now, all of our velocity lines will be flat. All right. Good luck on the assignment, and ask me if you need help.